My whole life changed within a year and I never talked about it. Deal again. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today is day seven of the Project 30 Challenge, the challenge where I upload 30 videos in 30 days. And if you ever just feel compelled to say something, like you feel compelled to have a conversation, well, that's what this video is about because my whole life changed within a year and I never talked about it. I never said anything about it to anyone. I never celebrated and I just kind of kept going. So I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to have the conversation about betting on yourself because last year I was in a completely different position. Last year when I first started like content creating for myself, because again, I told you guys beforehand, if you watch some of my older videos, you'll know that I actually used to do this for other people and other brands and like small entities of people who were like influencers on social media. I used to help small businesses shoot like infomercials and stuff like that. And I just like, it wasn't fulfilling for me. It wasn't something that I enjoyed doing until I really started shooting content for myself. And that happened last year or now two years ago. But I never actually talked about like that transition from shooting content for other people to like actually betting on myself and betting on my like my skill sets to potentially change an outcome that you know I wanted. I want to start this off by saying your goals are never too far out of reach. And I say this because I watched that J. Cole interview where he talked about how delusional he had to make himself become in order to believe that he could be potentially the best rapper to ever come across a microphone. And that's true. My goals when I first started content creating or influencing about a year and a half ago was only primarily to get free stuff. I just wanted free clothes, free drip. I, you know, if I could get a little discount code, I was straight with that. And that's like me being honest. Like I never really wanted anything else from that. You know, I never saw myself actually turning this into a lifestyle, actually living my life in front of a camera, being transparent and, and doing this and like people, you know, sending me DMs and saying I inspire them and people inviting me places to speak. Like I never could even imagine that until one day I started to. I feel like for me, in my particular situation and for whoever's out there who has like dreams and aspirations of becoming or even doing this being in the same position I'm in right now you know I I'm doing exactly what I said I wanted to or I'm doing exactly what I prayed about doing it's 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 possible for a long time a year and a half ago maybe two years ago I used to hope and dream that one day like I could do this like one day I'd have a channel where people would look up to me and one day I'd have a following or like a fan base of people who like wanted to see me post content and one day I could create content like the you know the shit I used to see in movies and so on and so forth and it just it just clicked one of these days where like I kind of decided to give it my full effort. If you can take anything from this video today, like the video's not over with, but if you could take anything from this video, it definitely would be give yourself the maximum effort because you never know what could come from it. I always say this, like your efforts will make you great. That's the quote I used to come into this year because I finally understand that the effort you put out is exactly what you'll get in return. And if you give yourself that half-ass effort, you're only gonna get half-ass effort in return. You know, if you give the things that you're interested in half effort, you're only gonna get half effort results. And like, that's the truth. And a year and a half ago, I just, I made that decision where I said, I'm not playing around anymore. Like I'm not taking this shit lightly no more. I'm not gonna half step around like this because I know my true potential. And I believe that if I really want something that I can get it. You know, I come from an environment where hard work equals results. And like, that's all I knew is super transactional. I'm a, I come from a sports background. So like, I only know work hard to get what you want in the end. And you know, and if you work hard enough, you'll get what you want in the end. For me, this is kind of strange because like, you never really like expect it to happen exactly how you wanted it to happen or exactly how it was supposed to happen. And when it does, you're almost like, damn, what the fuck? Or like, what the heck, like this actually happened? Or like, I'm actually doing this. I'm actually, I actually get paid to film content. Sometimes I catch myself off guard because I, I sit in the spot I'm in and I think back about two and a half years ago, just where I was and like what I was doing, what I was wishing about and the, you know, the bad habits I had and how lazy I was being. And this challenge actually reminded me how hard I actually have to work to be able to put forth the effort to do something. Because understanding that I can actually do this, I can shoot a video, edit it properly, make it look exactly how I wanted to, make sure I hit all my key points exactly how I want to and upload it and post it, it's effort. It's effort because when you put effort into something that you actually truly believe in, the results will come. And if you do something long enough, if you perfect that craft, over time, you will see the exact results that you want. 
and I firmly, I firmly believe that. I was never someone who was super outspoken about the goals that I have. I was never someone who was ever really completely confident in like the skill sets that I have until I just said, fuck it. I just literally said, fuck it. I'm gonna do what it takes to become exactly who I know I can become because I know I have that in me. And that's all it really takes as far as you betting on yourself. So I don't know who is out there right now who has like goals or aspirations. I need you to look yourself in the mirror first and foremost and ask yourself, am I doing what it takes today to become who I know I can be? And if the answer is no, then that means you need to start adjusting your habits because that's what I did. And that's what changed my life in under a year. I went from begging God to change my position to actually looking myself in the mirror and understanding that he's not gonna change my position, he's gonna give me the guidance to be able to change my position. And when he guided me on that journey of changing and learning and removing things and changing my environment, and changing my mindset, my whole world changed. And I firmly stand on making the effort to change in order to change. You know, like changing who you are to change your environment, changing the way you think to be able to change your reality. And that's just the truth. That's like the brutal, honest truth about growth and about betting on yourself in hopes to achieve something more. And I'm speaking to you from someone who was begging and praying to be where I am right now, today. So that is it for day seven of the Project 30 Challenge. If this resonated with you or if someone you know needs to hear this, go ahead and send this video over to them. But I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. It's your boy Dave, and I'm out.